All right, she looks very much relieved. So I think that everything went well, which is amazing. Oh, <laughs> I just said I thought it was gonna go well. <laughs> Obviously it's not going well. Hi my little plums, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Plumby, and today I am going to bring you all something a little bit different because as you can tell today I am not going to be playing The Sims 4 which is really really nice to say although I do love The Sims 4 I haven't really done a video on another game for almost a year now and I really want to start playing more farming simulators because I feel like lots of simmers love farming simulators myself included and I really just wanted to bring a different game on the channel which can still appeal to of course my audience because I feel like most people love farming <laughs> simulators because they're so fun and relaxing so today I'm going to be playing big farm story this is not going to be becoming a let's play or a recurring kind of game on my channel but I will be streaming streaming it over on my Twitch account so you can kind of see me play the game more and kind of play the full game or as much as I want to play over on my Twitch and yes if you want to go and watch me play more of this if you enjoyed this video you can go over to my Twitch link in the description box. I was kindly sent this game for free which is absolutely amazing and I'm very very thankful for it but this video is not sponsored so everything I say is my own opinion and I'm going to be playing it today with my own time. This is not sponsored. I just got it for free which I'm really really grateful for so thank you very much. You can download this game on Steam so I'll be leaving a link to it in the description box down below if you did watch this video and want to get the game for yourself like I said there'll be a link in the descri description box but I actually started a game but there does seem to be an option to create a new farm. Now I didn't do a lot because I just opened up the game to kind of see what it was. I played for like 10 minutes because I just wanted to kind of get the gist <laughs> of the game before I made a video on it mainly because I wanted to see if it it's actually something I was interested in. So I did actually already start a game, but I only played for about 10 minutes. And I haven't actually started anything yet. And yes, yeah, so I can't exactly show you guys the whole backstory, but there is a backstory to why our character is on this farm. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and just check the journal. And we're gonna, so this is actually the, the backstory. Uh, so we have another kind of grandfather's <laughs> farm backstory, which is very, very much reoccurring in farming simulators, but it's a wholesome one so I can get by it <laughs> but now you have more questions than answers what happened and where could he have gone because it's kind of mysterious we don't actually know what happened to your grandfather which I love that I love 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 the mystery but we actually have some what is this I'm just kind of exploring gathered items you can find these items by exploring the world and gathering everything you come across okay so you can actually discover things this is kind of like where we go to see what we've discovered so far I've only discovered a branch <laughs> Wow, farm supplies. So we can see everything we can discover. So we've got valuables, gathered items, farm supplies, farm products, furniture, and ooh, food. Oh, that's fun. This is basically where we kind of go to see if we've discovered everything. And we can actually see if we go back here, like I said, I'm really throwing them everywhere. We have some of, some of our quests here. So we're going to go ahead and complete that quest. Interesting. We also have a to-do list, stuff I really should take care of when I have some spare time, which is cool. So we kind of like have our like quests and, you know, what we should do in this kind of section. Here you'll see an overview of all of the animals in your barns. Okay, so you don't have any animals yet. We don't have a pet yet. And in the category crafting, you'll collect recipes and instructions. Okay, so we can't actually access any of these yet. And oh, here I am. Okay, awesome. So <laughs> that is kind of like our journal. We can go and check everything else. So we have to actually harvest some carrots. So let's go ahead and do this because I actually grew these <laughs> when I was just started playing a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and harvest these. So there we go. We just click on them. And then that is how we harvest our harvestables, which is quite nice. I like how efficient it is. I think I love the little kind of animation. Very, very nice. Love it, love it, love it, love it. The carrots are so cute. This game is so cute though. I do adore the graphics. They're really, really lovely. We are going to go ahead and sell our carrots. See, ooh, hold on. We want to sell. No, no, no. This is buy, sell. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So I think we're going to go ahead and we're just going to sell all of them. There we go for 24 coins. That's pretty good. I mean, for a start, it's pretty good. All right, we have to talk to Benny. Okay, this is Benny. Let's go ahead and say hi to him. Pretty sure he's the one who kind of introduced us to the farm. And I love how that they like interact, how you can kind of see the characters pop up. That's really nice. Uh, let's actually talk about maybe this one. I, I want to clean up that mess. This is one of the worst storms in a long time. It's a chore, but this rubble should be cleaned up. Okay, so we actually have to like 
do some cleaning up but as you guys can tell there's these little like bins that pop up over the rubble which we need to clean up so do we just there we go we just click on it and i think we level up as well hold on if we quickly go back to our journal which we can access down here i think you do level up oh yeah this is your character's current level okay unlock skills oh that is really fun i love that we can get skills and stuff okay that's gonna be fun okay <laughs> and oh my goodness we discovered something brand new a clover okay nice and we also found some wildflower seeds i'm probably not gonna read everything here <laughs> because that would take me too long but that is really really fun okay we actually found some screws which are great resources that are used to upgrade buildings that's nice so we kind of are finding stuff just by kind of collecting things and clearing things up which is nice oh my goodness is that a little corgi how cute oh my god <laughs> i wonder how many pets you can have and can we adopt this dog the dog looks scared oh no hey little one are you lost oh my gosh really are we gonna adopt a dog already <laughs> that is so fun nice okay so we have now adopted ourselves a dog which is fun and oh oh yeah the screen was like what happened did it crash but oh my gosh how cute i love the little animation oh i love that love that <laughs> that's really fun okay what should we name him you can change it later okay for now we're just gonna call him no name because i want you guys to name him so leave your name suggestions in the comment section down below for the corgi which is really really fun and what's this oh possible treasure your pet can now find this item as treasure so can your pets like find things for you that would be really really fun but there we go confirms so yeah they <laughs> leave your name suggestions in the comment section down below can we break this and oh we found something brand new hold on unlock oh no once i've repaired it i'll be able to place decorations here so we do need to like repair things and we need like pebbles to repair certain things depending on what they are but look our dog's following us okay so i think i've cleared up not everything but i think that we should probably go ahead and do one of the more main quests but have we like completed the more mini ones so far okay let's go ahead and see here okay so you've cleaned up a little bit but i want to focus on this main quest first because when i went to certain items it was kind of indicating that we should complete this quest so i think we're going to just focus on this one for now but i'm worried about my grandpa he hasn't come home yet do you know where to look for him the best thing to do is to ask my dad owen oh okay i'll wait here in case he comes back whilst you're gone okay so she really wants to go searching for her father and oh we actually we actually completed the quest oh okay so in order to complete the quest you have to go to benny as i'm aware of so now we can collect our rewards okay nice and we leveled up as well choose one reward oh that is nice we can choose digging dandelions or potatoes and i think i'm gonna go with digging because i want to clean up some of the other messes and you do need to dig in order, in order to do that with a shovel i can see what's hidden under these exciting piles of earth oh that's awesome yeah we're definitely gonna pick that one it seems like the most practical but i want to find that dirt pile that i saw a second ago here it is okay horseradish okay Okay, so we found some horseradish from digging that up. So, but I think that now we are going to go ahead and look for his father, Owen, who can kind of help us learn about our grandpa. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and track. <laughs> Would that be way too easy for me to do? Okay, maybe <laughs> maybe this is a little bit too easy that I'm doing this option. But, you know, for now, we're just going to roll with it because I am really, really bad at learning new games. So, okay, here we go. I think I know where to go now. I think I'm going to actually turn that off. Uh, but you can track things. <laughs> so if you're like me and you have have to track everything <laughs> you can do that oh my goodness me also i love the little loading screens how you can see like the whole place and wow okay this is my first time ever leaving the farm okay nice we've got these little signs telling us where they go we're at the carpenter's homestead and okay people are kind of like clearing up and there was actually a big storm as we found out earlier and that is why everyone's having to like clean up these messes which i find very like interesting <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and talk to owen your grandpa told me he was handing over the farm to you congratulations okay that's awesome it's kind of asking him if we've seen our grandfather no not for a while actually he might be with mayor connor in town unfortunately we can't get into the town at the moment the storm destroyed the bridge okay i saw benny on a farm he's going to keep looking there so it looks like his oh sorry it looks like our grandpa actually has gone missing which is interesting or you know i'm kind of excited to learn why we've finished a quest a grand mystery okay let's go ahead and talk to is this amelia or is this amelia <laughs> or is amelia in here i think one of these i think this is is this amelia here we go okay well hello there your grandpa walter told us to expect you all right so her her grandpa only recently went missing because i was kind of thinking he went missing like <laughs> years ago but he's only recently gone missing like very recently okay so now we've just got to continue cleaning or are we gonna just do that 
off camera. I think, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not sure if I want to clean off a little bit. That is awesome. That should be enough cleaning. Let's go back to Sam. Okay, nice. Select a topic. Okay, let's talk about, about the cleanup, I think. Great work. Nice. And I finished another quest. And I got some really cool stuff. We got some Shepherd's Farm, Maximum Energy, and Amelia's Store. So we've actually unlocked a couple of places where we can go now. Thanks for helping. If you're intent on being useful, maybe have a look at the Shepherd's Farm. My dad is headed there to see if they need help since they have small kids. Okay, so right now we're kind of just helping out all the townspeople because of the storm, which I find is really, really nice. Uh, okay, we've leveled up. All right, so I kind of want to get some potatoes. I think potatoes could be pretty practical. I'll be able to plant potatoes. Okay, nice. Confirm. Awesome. So you've just unlocked something new. Lovely. Oh, no. It looks like one of them has actually gone missing. Levy, Levy, where are you? Oh, no. So it actually looks like they've actually lost a child, which is worrying. Let's see if we can actually find them. Oh, and please tell me, have you seen my son, Levy? Not since before the storm. What's happened? He's gone missing. Hannah tells me that he was out looking for rabbits before the storm hit us. I was so busy calming down the livestock that I didn't notice until it was too late. Oh no. Hannah and Lydia can keep looking around here. I suggest we three head to the woods in the west. Okay. All right, so we're now actually heading up to the woods. Look at the dogs. <laughs> just following us how cool is that and i wonder if we're gonna be able to like go like foraging in the woods and stuff because i wonder if like different items shop in different areas and if foraging is even a thing in this game it, since it is a farming simulator i assume it is but either way <laughs> it's gonna be fun to find out we are now in the woods and this place is so pretty i do like it a lot okay so i think that i found them here they are okay <laughs> my leg hurts i went to play in the woods but the ground was so wet from the storm i slipped and fell on a rock oh no oh my gosh i feel so bad for him okay oh my goodness me okay let's go ahead and tell them that we, we found him i'll craft a leg splint so we can safely transport levy okay nice you have to go and meet them back at the farm now so at least at least we found people there's lots of searching being done right now Okay, so now we're back at Shepherd's Farm. Let's go ahead and say hello to Lydia. I think it's her name. Let's go ahead and say hi. And oh my gosh, what a cute character. I love her outfit and her hair and everything. That is so adorable. We should call the doctor to treat him. Okay, the bridge was destroyed by the storm. I can't get to the town to summon the doctor. Oh no. I'm really, really curious to see the town center though. Like once the bridge has been fixed, I bet it's going to be something that we like have to do as well. Like we have to fix the bridge, then see what happens next in the storm which is going to be pretty fun but we actually leveled up again i'm totally picking the mining rocks option could you help collect some herbs for me okay totally so we have to head back to our farm we have to go ahead and find some herbs to help with the medicine which is fun we're gonna go ahead and is this a wildflower here we go it's this one it's gonna take a whole day okay we're just gonna go ahead and plant it anyway and i think we're also whilst we're here we're gonna go ahead and plant some carrots as well but can i just say how much i love this planting process i did actually plant um some stuff off camera when i first started playing and it's actually really nice so you kind of plow the ground and you uh, kind of choose your seeds that you want to use which is pretty cool and then look you place them down and you water them and i love how you have like this little thing here to indicate what you are growing there i really do enjoy that and also you can repeat it so if you don't want to do all that clicking just repeat what you just did which is really really handy as well i don't think we've been inside our house yet so this is going to be quite interesting to check it out and oh my goodness so i assume these empty spots we can like place stuff in like you can decorate um, Ah, there we go. Look, our corgi has somewhere to sleep. So you can actually decorate your house, which I'm really looking forward to uh, doing. This seems really, really fun. And what's through here? Ah, so you can like add in rooms as well. So you can like expand. That is really, really awesome. I love that. And you can like paint the walls. But for now, we're just going to probably head to bed and everything. So that's pretty fun. <laughs> oh my god. I just love how they fall asleep. Usually in the games, they like get all tucked in. But our character just fell flat like she was just done with the day you know too much cleaning up after the storm just weared her out completely but okay day completed we've actually got some new skills this is nice actually we got 24 coins today we got this many xp on today and we also obtained some new skills which is pretty awesome hooray <laughs> love that and now our character is getting up again and all our energy has been replenished which is really really cool so the wildflowers are finished i think it said they take five days <gasps> no actually they only took one overnight <laughs> okay awesome wildflowers you can plant these field products on the farm the cheapest way to get them is to grow them yourself so now i'm pretty sure if we head to our items it should say that we unlocked some wild 
wildflowers, I think. Maybe? I'm not sure. Where are they, though? Do we have all the wildflowers we need? Okay, no, we're collecting them. So sorry, as I said, <laughs> new to the game. I am still getting used to everything. So cute. Awesome. And also, some of our carrots are done as well, which is really, really cool, meaning we can actually sell those. But I'm going to first of all prioritize bringing the wildflowers to Shepherd's Farm because we want to make sure that we give those wildflowers to them. So we're going to go ahead and quickly go over here and say hello, give the wildflowers, and kind of complete that quest so we can continue on with the story and there we go let's go ahead and give all the wildflowers thank you so much nice so it looks like she's actually going in to help little levy right now which is pretty awesome all right she looks very much relieved so i think that everything went well which is amazing oh <laughs> i just said i thought it was gonna go well <laughs> obviously it's not going well it's not helping his temperature keeps rising oh dear let's meet at the bridge okay so we're gonna have to meet at the bridge now to see if there's any repairs that need to be kind of done all right then so we're gonna go ahead and follow him i find it quite interesting because in lots of farming sims you usually start where am i going oh there's a chest here <laughs> in lots of farming sims you usually start out with like just farming instantly and although you are farming already i find it really really fun that you're immediately getting like thrown into the story and you have to you know go through and meet everybody through this story which i find is pretty awesome because i like the whole story driven aspect of it like i said i'm not sure if this is going to be something that's reoccurring i don't uh, kind of assume it is but i think it's a very interesting way to kind of get us introduced into the game and into the story and into all you know the, the townies and everything so i really do appreciate this i do like that a lot we need to get some materials we have to community effort we have to gather a log okay nice like i said we're just going to keep collecting everything i can find but i think that we will need to unlock a certain skill in order to break those logs so we may need to play a little bit to then get the logs so we're gonna probably like see if we go to this log right here hold on <laughs> we have unlocked it goodness me i thought we had to unlock that anyways do we click the middle okay there we go oh this is interesting way of breaking things i haven't actually seen this way in a game before usually you just break it but in this game you actually have to you know do stuff to break it which is pretty interesting we did find the log which is amazing <laughs> can we get any more of that log okay nice we also got some tree bark as well which is nice but just trying to collect everything i find because then we'll level up more because we do want to level up and we're going to go ahead and oh we don't want to go to the carpenter's homestead no do we go this way i think we do all right let's go ahead and see to him oh look he's actually repairing the bridge that is awesome love that all right so now we have to repair the bridge let's go ahead and click on this and oh all right as soon as the bridge is repaired I can go to the townlet. You need help and lots of materials. So we can actually unlock this. Unlock and oh, we did it. Yay. How exciting. Nice. We've repaired the bridge. Levy is getting worse. I don't know what to do. Well, we unlocked the bridge, so we should be fine and oh yay we have the doctor that is amazing i love that she's currently asking if we've actually seen our grandfather but he hasn't actually seen him either so that is a big bummer and we actually unlocked an achievement which is awesome but now we have to talk to the mayor because apparently the mayor may know where our grandfather is we're gonna be seeing the town for the first time and oh my god it's such a charming town that is really really nice it looks really cute i love that <laughs> love that a lot and that that is the mayor. I assume that's the mayor. Definitely looks like a mayor. <laughs> we could use some help with this market if the two of you have a minute. We're gonna go ahead and fix this. Just helping everybody out. Unlock and oh, how cute is that? So adorable. So loving, loving, loving that llama over there. So far, I think this game is really, really adorable. I'm really, really enjoying the whole kind of story driven things. Because as I said, usually with farming simulators, you kind of just get thrown in to the you know the farming things and you know all of that fun stuff first but i like how we're kind of getting introduced to everyone through a more quote unquote high stakes kind of story i like the whole mystery behind it you know with the gran grandfather being missing I'm not sure if it's like a huge huge mystery but it's very very interesting and i think the whole kind of story of like a storm hitting is quite clever and i really do enjoy kind of how we're going through the game with this story and kind of helping people repair after the storm i think that's really really a cool way to kind of introduce us to this game i find the graphics quite adorable they're definitely really really cutesy i like how colorful everything is it's very very nice i think that the gameplay is pretty easy to understand you know i got a 
gist of the controls and the journals. I'm still learning it, but I think so far pretty easy to understand, which is really, really nice. As I said, I will be streaming this on my Twitch sometimes. I'm not sure when, because right now I'm kind of everywhere when it comes to streaming on Twitch. But when I do get around to streaming, I'll probably be streaming this game every now and then because I am interested in playing a little bit more of it because I do love farming simulators a lot and I feel like you guys also enjoy them. And I also hope that you guys enjoyed this video where I basically didn't play this in four for once. Let me know what you thought of this video and if you have any, you know, games that you'd like me also to play like farming simulators or life simulators, farming or life simulators, do let me know your suggestions in the comment section down below. So if you did enjoy, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe. We'd love to have you join the Plum family and I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Bye bye. A quick thank you to all of the channel members. Thank you Kristen, Cottage Crossing, The Mint Plum Bob Florida, Michelle Monroe, Snowy Blaze, Meadows Hearth, Daiki Midoriya, Nanny Bay, Cat Lover 2788, McKenna, Robin Ivy Louise, Gianna Hicks, M. Howe, Redalia Griffin, Sky Perry, and Callisto Eris. I really do appreciate it.